I practice management intensive grazing. And that's using electric fences, water fountains, and rotation of cattle every day. Using rotational grazing, you get your cattle to have fresh grass every day. And uh, it's not a continual uh, pasture system where your cows are all over one pasture. We have about 23 paddocks we move ours through. Yeah, Durwood is in an uh, intensive grazing program. Uh, he came to my office several years ago and kind of gave me, a, threw my idea at me about kind of what he wanted to do and uh, how he wanted to go about it. And uh, we talked about it and discussed it. And he's one of the few that's followed through with his original plan. And uh, he's got several paddocks and he rotates his, his cows uh, on a regular basis to keep fresh grass in front of him. Uh, I buffer my uh, ditches with grasses where uh, the cattle can't get in them and those nutrients are taken up before they get to the water. Uh, I use water fountains for my cattle to drink out of. So uh, they're drinking clean water and they, it makes them healthier. We're doing a lot of things that uh, we probably knew how to do years ago, but just didn't do it. Now we're starting to do those things. In uh, 11 of my paddocks, I have mixed grasses, just about everything. On 12 paddocks, I have warm season native grasses, big blue stem and Indian grass, and I'm real proud of them. I got those because of uh, two or three things. One, they're more drought tolerant, they take very little fertilizer, and you can get gains of two and a half to 2.75 pounds per day on your yearlings. I think the benefits to the warm season grasses is a couple of things. It's, it's beneficial to the cattle, but it's also beneficial to the wildlife. Uh, and I think Durwood had that in mind when he put those na native warm season grasses in. Uh, quail used to be big up here. Uh, native warm season grasses are really attractive for the quail population, and uh, I think that's an added advantage as far as uh, the grazing of the cattle.